Okay, so welcome back to a new uh, Bitwig tutorial. And on this one, we need to talk about templates and why we get templates and what is a template. It's okay. So again, this was a request from a patron from Nolan. So I'm recording this video. Uh, and you, if you don't know or you're confused with what is a template on Bitwig or, or, an, or actually any DAW, uh, you need to thank Nolan. Um, uh, a template pretty much is a template. Whenever you start the session, you know, you want to make a track and you start the session. Uh, most of the times you just keep using the same things. Maybe you have some buses with a 1-8 delay. Maybe your master bus has a, a, a bus compressor, right? That you always use. There, these are things that you always, always, always use. So every time you start the session, why adding that, you know, compressor? because you do it all the time. So if I open, let me, let me just show you, I'm gonna go and create a, a new project. I'm gonna go and just create a new project, whatever. So by default, what you do, let's say, whenever you start, you say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and start my, you know, my, uh, my project. I'm gonna go and select my bus compressor. I don't know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put something that makes sense. Let's say that I want the townhouse, right? So this is my master bus all the time. And I have my settings right here. I select this, I go uh, a slow attack and a fast release. This is my main bus compressor and I use it on every single production. Let's say I want a delay. So I want to create a bus with a delay that I use the whole time. Maybe my delay is gonna be something like that. I'm gonna go and say uh, delay four, right? And this is again, my preferred setting. And I use this the whole time, right? That's the point. Now, I'm gonna go, not save it, but uh, let's say that maybe tomorrow I wake up, I want to create a new track, and I'm gonna go right here and do new project, and it's gonna create a new project. So the bug, the, uh, the uh, plugging right here is gone, and the effect is gone. So I'm gonna have to do it again. Go bring the plugging, throw it right here, go to the effect and bring the delay, What's the point? What's the point of doing this over and over and over and over again? That's why you get templates. It's gonna save a template so you can reuse it in the future and you don't have to redo all of this over and over again. So I'm gonna go and save it as a template. I'm gonna say template. I'm gonna say, you know, test template. All right, this is my user. I'm gonna say, yeah, actually I'm gonna put XMB because that's the name of the channel. Uh, it's gonna be. I'm gonna. I'm gonna use all caps. So test and then template. And let's say that it's gonna be a category of template. Of course, uh, you can add text. So maybe this is the mix, or maybe you can create different templates. Let's say that you have a techno template, or you have a synthwave template, uh, where you use different plugins and you have everything prepared. This it's why you add the text. You can even add a description if you wish. And okay, I'm gonna go and save it. So now I have a new template. All right. So let's say I'm gonna, you know, close this one. Let me just go here. I'm just gonna do this. Now I want to create a new project. Now this template is gonna be right here. So I'm gonna go and open it. And once you open, like magic, you have that compressor and you have the delay. And it's a new project. You don't need to do this work again. You already did it on the template. And notice that it says it doesn't says new template. It's just kind of uh, inheriting the things that you uh, got on you had you had on that template, right? So now you make the track. You already have all the things that you want. You don't need to do them again. You can start working fast because making tracks fast it's something very important because it's very time consuming. So as soon as you uh you know as long as you can uh, save time, it's always a great thing. So when you're done, you just save your session, you go, you put it on whatever you want, and, and that's it. That's why you use templates, to, uh, to save a process that you repeat uh, and repeat over and over and over again. Now, um, and that's it, you know, hopefully you'll learn something on this one. Uh, so remember to like and subscribe. Remember to check Patreon. I release everything, uh, all the videos I do, I put them on Patreon way before I put it on YouTube. And now when you go to Patreon, if you uh, subscribe to Patreon to uh, three, uh, you can of course support the channel, you keep the lights on, but you get preset packs. I'm doing preset packs for different things. I have seven, but every month uh, you get like two or three or four preset packs. 
and you just pay once. You can even pay one month of a Patreon with three bucks and you can download 10 or whatever uh, amount of priest packs I, you, I have on, on that account. Pretty simple. You know, I, I, wanted, I wanted to keep it cheap for everyone. All right, so hopefully you like this. Remember to like and see you on the next one.